You guys wanted more dating nightmares, so your wish is my command. We are checking them out. Cheers. Drink your water. Respectfully, I say that as your friend. Hydration is key. You guys, this is the craziest story I have ever heard. I just have to share this, and this is why you have to be careful when you hook up with people when you are traveling to a foreign country. Uh, so this yeah. girl, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna call her Natalie. I'll just use my name. So Natalie was traveling to, I don't wanna say the name of the country, but she traveled overseas from America. And she was in this country for only a few days and she ended up meeting this guy at a bar. We're gonna call him Sam. So Sam and Natalie headed off and they go to multiple dinners together where I was told that Natalie said that he was constantly feeding her like an insane amount of food at each dinner. Like, it was her last night with Sam and she still hadn't gone back to his place and he was really Some adamant odd about detail. Her coming back home with him and he kept asking her at dinner like, oh, you're gonna come back home, right? You're gonna come back <gasps> home with me like you leave tomorrow. Natalie got a little bit creeped out by it and ended up calling her sister because her- This is a complete stranger. No, this is literally how serial killer documentaries start out and her sister on the trip together and she left the dinner she didn't go back she's like oh my sister needs me i gotta go blah 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 and she said like sam was blowing up her phone anyways she gets on her flight job, she goes Natalie. back to the united states and she develops <laughs> can't even say it she develops a rash on her back so she goes to the dermatologist told her dermatologist hey like i just came back from this country like i developed this rash not sure what this is test for it and then you know let me know what comes back so she was on campus when she got the call from her dermatologist and her dermatologist was like, why am i saying it like that her dermatologist was like call me right what? now what's so going her derm on calls her and she's like what are you doing i need you to come to the office right now police are going to be here and she's police like, what's going on and she's like come i can't say it over the phone so the girl comes to the dermatologist's office and it wasn't even the police it was fbi turns out that the rash that was on her back was actually cream that was put that's used for cannibalism oh. the fbi ended up asking her like who have you met with in the last six months she told them about the guy fbi ends up working with the police in that country they raid the guy's apartment and they found multiple skulls and limbs that belonged to several women that were missing. And he fully intended on killing her and eating her. Apparently, like, that's the reason why he was taking her to dinner and trying to really get her full. He just, I don't even know. Just be careful out there when it comes to hooking up with people because you, you never know, you know? You just, you never know. Bro, I was not expecting it to be that serious and that dramatic. Did I not call it? Literally. Mans was actually a serial killer. That's horrifying. That's not even funny. That's not even funny. I hope this is a PSA to anyone out there who is single and dating. You don't even need to, it's even if it's in your own city. You don't go back to nobody's house. You don't give your address. You get to know them first. I don't care. You be safe. You tell people where you are. You tell friends where you're going. Oh, I'm just so scared for everybody out there who's dating right now because stories like this, there's just crazy people in this world. Can't trust anybody. Please be safe. I'm gonna have anxiety worrying about all you guys out there who are dating. Dating nightmare story time. About the Oscar Mayer wiener I was not ready to see. I was scared. The wiener? Wait, wait. Are we talking about the wiener? I have a feeling it's about. Uh, I'm brand new to the dating world. I have never dated before in my life. So I decided to sign up for a dating app just to kind of see what's out there. And I met a guy. We went on like three or four dates. I really liked him. And he had come okay. to my part of town every single time, like a gentleman. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna meet you in your nick of the woods. In the back of my mind, I'm like, I need to see your house. Because if it's not clean, then I'm never gonna date you again. <laughs> he takes me out to an extremely nice dinner. It was very fancy. And after the date, he was like, do you want to come hang out in my place? And I didn't realize at the time that that meant let's bump uglies. But I didn't know. I was called a nun in high school for a reason. They started asking questions in lieu of the bump and uglies and I was like, look, I'm really not ready for that. We start watching a movie and we start kissing and stuff. Ooh. And then I felt him kind of like rustling, but I didn't realize like what was happening. I was just kind of like in the moment. And then I put my hand on his hip. It was no, there was no pants. It was just like, a, it was a skin, huh? it was a butt. And in, in a small voice, I was like, are you, is your wiener out? And he looked at me, he was like, yeah. Ugh! What do you mean? What do you mean? How do you even take this? Wait, hold on. Okay, you know what? This is YouTube. We gotta keep this PG. I'm not even gonna ask the questions. I'm just gonna let you tell me the story. I'm not ready to see your wiener! I'm not ready to see it! And he practically yelled, I thought you wanted to see it! I was like, I don't, I don't want Ugh. to see it! I've had a very limited number of Oscar Mayer wieners that I've seen in my life, and I'm not ready to see yours yet. Mandy, why are you screaming? Don't worry about it, mom. Anyway, so that didn't last very long. <laughs> wow. 
Some people are just very brave on the internet to be telling these stories. I love it. I'm here for it. I feel like we're on FaceTime together and you're one of my friends telling me the story about a guy who whipped out his wiener on the couch. This is so fun. <laughs> Sir. Sir. Why are there poop emojis <laughs> in this title? First date nightmare and there's poop emoji. Oh my God. This story's gonna have to do with poop. 100%. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's brace ourselves. So I need to tell you all this story. And, and you know, if, if, right out the gate, don't act like fellas. This is mainly for the fellas. Maybe the girls too. I don't know. But guys, <laughs> oh don't God. act like that. No, I haven't done this. I'm so scared. Okay. So we're not on this day. And it was going great. It was a great day. Great day. Great, great everything. Great. Everything was great. But midway through the day, I'm not a big Mexican food guy. I'm not a big Mexican food guy. Okay, I don't like it. All right, it doesn't sh sit with me well, shall we say? And about halfway through the day, started getting some rumbles. Right? Just as expected. I know exactly where this is going. The rumbles. Honestly, anybody who has experienced rumbles, you know, I have IBS, so you can only imagine. Uh, yep, the rumbles. Excuse myself. You know, went to the restroom. Nothing happening. Whatever. This is gonna be a nasty story. I don't care. But it, it, I feel like I got to tell someone and y'all are who I'm telling. <laughs> I got to tell someone. I'm going to tell the internet. <laughs> so we're like, hey, I'm going to a movie. Made it through the movie. Well, just every fiber in my soul is holding in what I know to be the biggest <laughs> fart in the history of man. And I am doing everything in my power everything oh. in my power not to unleash the, the satan spawn okay <laughs> and i am i am i mean at points it is so bad you guys you know what i'm talking about where you do the lean I'm forward thing you know you do the, lean, <laughs> the lean forward thing trying to release some of the pressure and it, you, the sweat drops are starting to form it's serious it is serious so finally <laughs> The, and at the I'm beginning crying. of the day, my finally, the date was over, was not going to be that same night. I was not even going to lie to you. You know, you hope it carries over to the next morning. But no, <sighs> not this. This, I was praying for everything that this was a good girl and I was going to be sent on my way. So finally, you know, I pulled back to, up to her place, you know, give her a hug, get a little, little pet goodnight. And as I'm, you know, as I turn around, she goes to the house, I turn around to walk back to my truck. As I turn around, Cause I, you know, she had gone inside. As I turn around, bro, I unleash after about three or four steps. Probably the big, the the biggest fart. So big, it it's, it is so big, and it goes for so long. You actually start to fucking laugh, <laughs> okay? And I mouth out the words, "Oh, thank my Lanta, thank God." I mean, you know, just thanking God and everything. What I didn't realize was I had forgotten that I gave her my keys to hold in her purse. <gasps> and as the end of the fart, you know, as the end of the fart comes out, and you know, it's like that, it's like a two, the, the end part is like the two-year-old bolt blowing out the birthday <laughs> candles. <laughs> Into the <laughs> and it's like, I, I hear, I hear like a little. <clears throat> oh my God. And, and my color and everything had to have been white. I might cry. I might actually, like, shed a tear. This is the funniest. Honestly, it's the storytelling. The <laughs> and I'm like, please, no. Please, please, <laughs> please, please, no. I turn around. Oh, no. There she was standing. Sir. For the entire thing. Like never, I guess she had come back outside. I no. took my, my third step. No. She's in the direct no. line of fire. I can no. tell she's trying to be nice about it, but she actually no. <laughs> does that number. She hits with a dry heave because once again, as I said, Mexican food doesn't agree with me. She hits with the. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be getting a second date. What do you think? I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure the. Uh, uh, that, I think that sealed it. What do y'all say? I'm gonna throw up, I'm laughing so hard. In all of my time on YouTube, this might be my favorite video I've ever, <laughs> ever watched. I'm crying, literally. Oh my God, I need to follow this man. What is his name? 
big old Texan family, sir. <laughs> you just made my day. So embarrassing. However, man, if she could just laugh that off and y'all can like have that as a really funny memory, like it's meant to be, you know what I mean? I would like to think, I think back to mine and Matt's first date and we weren't friends before, we didn't know each other at all. And I think about that happening, it would be hilarious. I find farts <laughs> and poo <laughs> hilarious. I'm just one of those people. That humor to me, it's like I'm six years old. I don't know, it's so funny. I'd be able to like find the humor in that, but I feel like there's a lot of people out there that don't. I mean, when I burp on camera, a lot of people in my comments think it's like, oh my God, you're so gross, like meh. And then there's others who think it's hilarious and it's normal. So you just gotta have that humor, you know? Wow, sir, you made my whole day. Well, you don't want to add on any calories to you. Uh, you're welcome. All right, I'll get those going. Excuse me? Thank you very much. All right, so I liked what she had mentioned about the scallops. I thought that sounded really good. I'd be out. I'd be out. The second you're bringing up any kind of calories to me, goodbye. Have a great night. See you later. I will get this to go. Wait, can I get the check? Be on my way. I'm a big seafood fan, so I think I'm gonna do that. Let me order for you. I'll surprise you. I know what you want. I hate surprises. <laughs> you, you know this place better than me, so. Yes, I do. You don't want to. You don't like right away? Not good here or something? Well, you don't want to add on any calories to you. Wall. No, no, but I mean we're on a nice little date, so I think I can ignore it for now. I'll order you a drink that'll, that'll suit what you're looking for. <laughs> what the hell am I looking for? Something with less calories. Yeah, that is true. I mean, wine does have a lot of sugar. Oh. I tend to know what women like. Yeah, well, that's good. <sighs> not many guys. Oh, girl, you are way nicer than I am because my attitude would never allow that. There's no way I would just be like, <laughs> no. I'd say, what the fuck? did you just say to me? I'm definitely a cut above the rest. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna go with the... She's actually gonna have what I'm gonna have. What's that? Uh, I'm gonna have the... Uh, oh, either one of you like to add super salad tonight? Um, yeah, I was gonna do the, the soup, the this. Is that okay? That's oh! my god. I can't even talk, okay? I can't even order it. Updates in. But if you don't mind, I'm gonna take care of my bill um, because <laughs> I, I do mind. I, I will go ahead and take care. No, no, no. Of it. L listen, I've had an experience like this in the past, and I do not want to repeat. So I will definitely. Well, that's not me. I, I will not. Oh, okay. it's not wild behavior. I, I just cash out. No, you. it is. It's very much an American. Okay, okay. Don't worry about it. Just not make a scene. I forgot you like to open the door. Thank you. That's really nice of you. All right, I'm just gonna run into the, the car. If that's okay. No, no. Oh my god. I'm okay. I could have gotten in there a lot faster if nope, I just ran. The gentleman has to get the okay, door. Okay, that's fine. Oh, Thank you. Oh, I hate everything about- Girl, I don't know how you made it through dinner. Ain't no way. I'm not kidding. I would never stay in that position. Maybe I'm just ruthless, but I would just say hi. Uh, you're just making me very uncomfortable. So thank you so much for asking me out. Um, I really was willing to give this a shot. I don't like the way you're speaking to me. I'm just uncomfortable. So I'm gonna take off. And if we already ordered, I will get it to go. I'll pay for my, like, oh, there were so many red flags about this. This is insane. This is crazy. This is nuts. This is nuts. Okay, this better be crazy because you're really hyping this up. No way. <laughs> this is nuts. All right, so long story short, I go on two dates with this girl, okay? I went on two dates, that's it. And at one point after like, I don't know, a day later, I told her I was going to bed, I was texting or whatever, and I thought I went to sleep, but somebody followed me on Instagram, I followed them back, and all of a sudden, I don't know if this happens to you guys too, but I woke up to screenshots of, of a bunch of these girls' photos with circles and going like, who the oh. is this, who are you following? So we got a little bit of crazy vibes happening here, is what you're saying, okay? Da, 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 da. So I was like, what the f So I blocked her. She's still sending packages to my house. <laughs> What? Like, I don't know what to do. She has my address. Like, what do I do? <laughs> I keep getting packages. I don't know what to do. Um, I need more explanation of what's in the packages. Like, are they apologies? Are they like printed photos of the screenshots? Like, is it a lock of your hair? I need to know. 
So can you please do a follow up on this? All right, it is a little, that's crazy behavior. After two dates, you, you know, you don't really get to say who he's following and things like that. Even if you're not crazy, you're just giving off crazy vibes now. I'm on a Tinder mm. date and she's having a nightmare. Bacon, bacon McMuffin meal. Do not, not only split with a coffee frappe. Mom. Damn, girl's hungry. Yo, that would scare the absolute hell out of me. Even if she's yelling about freaking pickles, you know? Like, if someone just starts screaming in their sleep, no matter what it's about, I would be mortified. Like, terrified. At least she's not yelling out, like, serial killer things, you know? She just wants bacon and a frappe or a latte or something. She's just hungry. Make sure you make her breakfast in the morning. Oh, that'd be so cute. Anyways. What did she just say to me? I don't care that you're recording me. You swipe right on me fun. If you want some of this meat, you're gonna pay for this meat. Ew! I don't want that meat. You can pay because I don't need that meat. I'm good. I've got my protein for the day. Thank you very much. When you're 20 days in the talking stage and you cut them off. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. I would be so scared. <gasps> I would be so scared. Uh, that's creepy behavior. I, listen, I don't think you should ghost somebody. Very situational though. Sometimes, sometimes you might have to ghost somebody if it's like, if you're scared, you know? If you're scared for your well being you can cut somebody off but if you're just talking you're not feeling it i do think you shouldn't go someone uh and you should just let them know hey not feeling it sorry about that it's all good wish you the best be on your way but you've just known them for like 20 days of talking and they're showing up and doing all this creepy i just went on a date and i can't believe what just happened met this guy on hinge went on a first date super spontaneous we'd hardly spoken but we've matched a few times in the past he's stunning and he booked this really lovely bar for us. Oh. We had the best day. I really wasn't expecting it. It was so good. We were super attracted to each other. Chemistry, everything, laughing all night. Amazing. Aww. He kept ordering us cocktails. Like, I wasn't instigating any of this. He just kept ordering me new drinks. Anyway, end of the day, we've been there for like four hours. I go to the toilet. I come back. He's like, let's go. And I'm like, oh, we need to get the bill. He says he's already got it. So he got it while I was in the bathroom. Oh, okay. And I'm like, oh my gosh, no, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. He's like, it's okay, no problem, blah, 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 let's go. Walks me to the station, we're linking arms, cute, cute. Says he wants to see me again. I'm on my way home and he texts me saying, get home safe, let me know when you're home. I'm like, will do. Then he says, I'm so sorry to do this, but the bill actually was quite expensive. Can you send me some? Oh, he's like, no. it was 160 pounds. What do I say? Oh, man, that's tricky. <laughs> I'm like trying to really like see both sides. You didn't have to keep ordering drinks if it wasn't in your budget for the night. Like maybe you planned on, I'm gonna take this girl out and I wanna spend this amount, I have a budget, whatever, but you kept ordering and now it's over budget. It would just be awkward. Like, I don't mind paying for half. I would pay for half, but it's just the awkward way of ordering all these things, taking them out, and then at the very end being like, hey, so like, can you send me the money? I'm curious what you guys think about this. Like, how would you react to that? Doesn't matter whether it was the girl versus the guy, whatever. How would you react to that after a first date? Like, what would your reaction be? All right, guys, those are more dating nightmares. I think the lesson we've learned today is to stay safe. And also don't eat Mexican food on a first date. Stay classy out there, stay sassy. I'll see you tomorrow.